So we've got some very exciting leaks of what could be the actual pictures of the Sony WF-1000XM5, courtesy of the Walkman blog. These are pictures of the product's exterior and the interior components. And yes, it looks like the Mark V's case will not be squarish as indicated in the FCC filing. What a relief, right? Also, it kind of looks like the case might be at least about the same size or smaller than the Mark IV's case. Now, we don't really know yet. It's just that the shape of the case kind of reminds me of the Link Buds S. And this case is tiny, thinner than the Mark IV's case. But looking at the earbuds themselves, they do seem to be a bit smaller than the Mark IV's earbuds. They've got a rounder shape, especially in the conch area, and they now seem to have a glossy finish compared to the matte texture of the Mark IV's. Now this is a pre-production model, so that could very well change in future, but let's assume that this glossy finish is the final design. It remains to be seen how this will impact its grippiness in the ears and whether it's going to be harder to take them out of the case, assuming that the retaining magnets are as strong as the Mark IV's. The Walkman blog also speculates that it could have a dual driver design. If that is true, then this could have an impact on the xm 5 sound signature, which may be an improvement in terms of bass separation or not, because many other factors do influence the earbud's final sound quality apart from the number of drivers in the earbuds. Although I will say this, there are duo driver earbuds that do sound fantastic, like the PI7 S2 from Bowles and Wilkins. Another change to note here is that the Mark V's could charge its earbuds faster than the Mark IV's. We can see this on the bottom label. There is a bump in terms of amperage from 140 to 230 milliamps per earbuds, which increases the Mark V's charging speed. Also, it says here it's made in China, this time not Malaysia, which is interesting, but it should not affect the quality of the product since the Sony Link Buds S is also made in China. And it is a fantastic pair of earbuds that I do use on a daily basis. That being said, this has been a high quality leak. Again, kudos to the Walkman blog for that. He goes really deep into the individual components like the PCB board. So if you're interested in that, I've got a link to his article in the description. And if you don't want to miss out on more videos, more news about the Sony WF-1000XM5, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Also, smash like and share to review my HP. I'm also on Discord, so if you have Discord, come and join the chat. Link is in the description. Now guys, if you want to know when the Mark V's could possibly be released, click on this video over here or watch another video from this channel.